That is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support, be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. There comes a moment in all of our lives where we either back down and tell ourselves and others around us that we can't do it. We don't have the skills. We don't have the knowledge. We don't have the money. We don't have the resources. And we go back to doing what we've been doing and settle for mediocrity, living below our potential. Or there's the other option. You decide within yourself that you are sick and tired of living the way you've been living. You stand up within yourself and make a full commitment. You're gonna fully commit to your dreams, to your goals, to your vision of the future. But I say to you, whatever it is you want to demonstrate in your life experience, it's on you. That as you look out where you want to go, it's on you to decide to move you from there. That a lot of us don't do any more than what we're now doing because we're living within the context of the conversations or the opinions or the expectations that people have of us. And here's what I want to say to you. For those of you that have experienced some hardships, don't give up on your dream. No one could have convinced me by holding on, by continuing to push forward, by continuing to run toward my dream, that one day I can live my dream. And some of you are already there. Well, you don't know how you're going to make this happen, but you just feel within yourself some way, somehow, I'm going to make it happen. Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. So a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming. A lot of people have given up. A lot of people don't even want and ask life for anything because they don't believe they can have it. No, don't allow those negative thoughts to take over your mind. When all hell is breaking loose in your life, you got to tell yourself, no matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The fulfillment of your dreams lies within you and you alone. When you understand and accept this, then nothing or no one can deny you greatness. The power to succeed or fail is yours and no one can take that away from you. See, when you acknowledge that, hey, it's me, I'm the one, I've got to do this. I'm the one that's going to turn this around. So I got some roadblocks here. It's not easy for me. But ultimately, I know that these roadblocks, these obstacles, this opposition won't stop me from doing what I want to do. It can temporarily cripple me or make it inconvenient. But it won't stop me. It will not determine my reality. And yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be rough. Yes, it's going to take every bit of your energy and push you harder than you ever thought possible. But if your reason for doing this is strong enough, you can make it through this. Because I know every single one of you is tougher than whatever problems you face. They're not bigger than you. They're not tougher than you. And as you overcome each and every one of these challenges, you won't be worn down by them. No, they will sharpen you into a stronger, more resilient weapon to take on any mission that stands in your way of victory. I want you to look in the mirror every damn day and say, I am proud of you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You are powerful. You say, if it's hard, then I'll do it hard. I won't allow this to stop me. I don't have the option of easy, and I don't think any of us do. Going around trying to find a little dream that doesn't require much responsibility or not too stressful or won't be too much of a hassle. No. All you need to do to get out in the arena of life is to affirm to yourself, I can make it. Every day, every moment you push forward, you're saying to the world and to yourself, it's possible. In spite of rejection, in spite of failure, you keep moving because you know that this moment, this day, could be the turning point. When negative voices try to drag you down, you fight back. You don't just ignore those voices, you confront them. You declare them liars because you know your worth, your capabilities, your resilience. You gotta shut down every voice that says you can't. That's about not just ignoring negativity, but actively rejecting it. 
It's a conscious decision to not let those toxic thoughts take root in your mind. I need you to talk back to those voices and tell them, you're spewing lies. You're wrong about me. I am stronger than this. I am tougher than this. I will overcome this. Guess what else? You're going to die. You can't get out of life alive. So I'm saying to you, you got six months to live. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. You got to say yes to your life. Yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. I can make it. It doesn't matter how many failures I've made. It doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. It doesn't matter about my defeats. It doesn't matter about what I've done. As long as I believe and hold the vision firmly in my mind, I can bring it into reality. Sometimes life will happen to you and you won't have time to say no. You won't have time to think that you can't do it. The only time you will have is to act, to take the leap of faith. Trust yourself and know within yourself that everything is going to be all right. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream of finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that if it's going to happen, it's up to them. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry and they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. When you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. When you're uncommon, have uncommon ways. Get ready for people to try and block you and conspire against you. Never allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your ass off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, and all that shit. That ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. You see me in my Rolls Royce, private planes, rooftop hotel, five, six star lifestyle. I've worked my ass off to have it. And you can keep all your little slick ass comments to yourself. Because guess what? I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater. Shut the fucking noise out. Embrace the fact that people don't like you. Makes you do something right. Develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. You've got to focus on you. You've got to convince yourself every day, selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. Don't allow that inner doubt in you to talk you out of it, to build a case on why you can't have it, to tell you why you're not good enough. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Don't determine what you're able to do based upon your resources. Don't determine what's possible for you based upon where your life is right now. Where your life is right now is not you. That's just what it is right now. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. You are powerful. 
You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. And you've got the power to change that. But you don't know what has happened to me. It really doesn't matter what has happened to you. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? I can become upset, nervous, weak about it, or I can say it's okay. If it becomes hard, then do it hard. But many of us just stop dead in our tracks. I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Make yourself come up with something. See, the universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied because that is your commitment. That business that you want, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support. Be lonely, doubt yourself sometimes, be rejected again and again and again, and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger. Years in this lane, there's no stop in this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great